in this module we will try to discuss about abstract data type to represent polynomial a mathematical quantity such a way that how normal operations on the polynomial can be carried out on abstract data types also. In principle, a polynomial can be having either a single variable or more than one variable also. However, in this lesson or module, we will be discussing about the abstraction of polynomial involving single variable. For example, the polynomial shown in the slide 4 x to the power of 6 plus 10 x to the power of 4 minus 5 x plus 3 is a polynomial involving single variable x. Its order is normally called as 6. That the highest exponent, ta, exponent seen in the polynomial. A single variable polynomial can be generalized as f of x is equal to sigma i is equal to 0 to n a of i and x to the power of i. The users can verify that when we expand this equation or the summation, we may get a generalized polynomial a n x to the power of n a n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1, etc. Like integer variables or integers or complex numbers. On polynomials also, we can do many operations in mathematics such as adding two polynomials, subtracting a polynomial from another polynomial, multiplying a polynomial with another polynomial, differentiating, integrating, dividing, etc. Multiplying a polynomial with a scalar. So many operations are really possible in mathematics, are really discussed in the mathematics, employed in the mathematics. We wanted a abstract data type to be designed which help us to carry out the same operations on this programmable quantity that is abstract data type also. In practice Polynomials are represented in many ways. For example, using simple arrays, double arrays, and linked list. Out of all, linked list is a preferred and recommended one. For example, in an array implementation, the polynomial coefficients are stored in the arrays. For example, 8x cube 3x square plus 2x plus 6 that is one polynomial. It is stored in the one day array such a way that constant term whose x power is 0 it is stored in the 0th element of the array and then x power 1 term coefficient will be stored in the element 1. Similarly, x power 2 that is x square term coefficient will be stored in the second indexed element in the array and vice versa. For example, the polynomials and their array 
storages are shown in the slide. We may see that if there are some terms are not available in the polynomial, the respective elements in the array are considered as zeros. Here indirectly the index that is the element index will indicate the power of the term that is the exponent value of that term respective term. Main drawback of this approach of array storage is not attractive as there is a danger of wastage of space. That is some terms are not available in the polynomial, the elements will be still having zeros that memory gets wasted. In a nutshell, the main advantages of using an array to represent the polynomial is that uh, it is it gives freedom or rather easiness to store and retrieve a respective term very easily. Also for dense polynomials the memory what it consumes will be generally less than linked list. However, the main disadvantages of arrays representation of the polynomial is it requires memory to be allocated ahead of time and also already we have discussed if the polynomial is a sparse polynomial that is many terms are not available in the polynomial then the sum of the array elements will be zeros thus there will be wastage of memory. There are some implementations in which the polynomials are stored in double arrays. That is coefficients in one array and their powers are exponent values in another arrays. For example, the polynomial P1x 23 x to the power of 9 plus 18 x to the power of 7 minus 41 x to the power of 6 plus 163 x to the power of 4 minus 5 x plus 3 are shown or um, the, the polynomial is stored as shown in the slide. That is 23 and 9 they are stored. Similarly 19 and stored, 7 stored like this. This representation no doubt saves space compared to the previous one. However, that is very applicable only for sparse polynomials. For dense polynomials, the previous its one itself is preferred. However, the main the other disadvantages of this representation are it is very difficult to maintain. Also, it requires memory to be allocated ahead of time and also processing is little complex compared to the previous solution. The linked list based solution is shown in the slide. Here we take a structured variable such that it contains data members to store the coefficient and also power that is exponent value and also it contains a pointer to the next term of the polynomial. For example, the polynomial P1x is stored in a linked list fashion as shown in the slide. Even P2 also you can see that it is stored like a linked list. The most important advantage of linked list is it saves space especially if the polynomial is sparse polynomial and also it doesn't require to allocate memory in advance. 
memory can be allocated as and when required. However, the disadvantages of this solution is it is not possible to go backwards through the list and also we cannot access so in so term of the polynomial directly we have to traverse the polynomial there is a link list and access it that way access times are somewhat not attractive compared to the array based solution we may be requiring adding two polynomials subtracting two polynomials which are in the linked list fashion multiplying etc there are been discussed separately in the subsequent lessons